Welcome one and all whoever may be watching this part 36, Dave the Diver. Let me tell you that whole battle with the Chronosaurus almost didn't make it into a video. I'm not exactly sure what happened to the recording file. Um, it, I may have gotten corrupted or something else might have happened to it, but the only thing I could do with that file was play it on like Windows Media Player or like VCL or whatever. Um, I couldn't, uh, well, I could upload it into the editing software, but it would only um, recognize the first seven minutes of it. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure what happened. There was no visible signs of any issues while I was recording, otherwise I would have stopped it. Um, but anyways, what I ended up doing was just recording it off uh, my computer. So like I had the recording software going while I was playing the video on uh, in Windows Media Player or whatever it was that I was doing and that's how I managed to stitch together that video. Um, it made me laugh because obviously everything uh, was leading up to that battle with the Chronosaurus and I was like, wouldn't it be hilarious if I couldn't even show that in a video? <laughs> I would have gotten a sweet, sweet laugh from it and then felt absolutely miserable. But anyways, let's keep going. Oh, I barely managed to cut it. It's very thick and tough. It is large enough now for a person to go through. Come down here when you're ready. Finally, I'm in the control room. It's common sense to clear all the missions before fighting. Oh, that... The Chronosaurus wasn't even the boss. This is not an RPG game, but being overly prepared doesn't hurt. But wait, there's more? I'm assuming it'll just be another, yeah, okay, crab night. Cool. Alright, hallelujah. We've made it to chapter 7. Who would have thunk? Uh, Alright, so we've obviously got... What was the event? It was like a crab event or something. Uh, so that's happening, but I also just want to go down and check the control room. What I will do is another swim around the glacial area just to pick up supplies. Just in case. Yikes, the ground is rumbling again. It's getting more intense. I should quickly go down to the control room. I mean, right now you're being destroyed by the narwhal. Okay, so like, all things considered, it was a very uneventful trip around trying to find stuff. So like, I don't know, he's hoping it'll be okay. Oh, I think the pile of rocks over there just moved. Should I check with the camera? Ah, oh, look at the cute little fish with, wow, really sharp teeth. Oh, hey, come back, buddy, come back. Oh, wow. A I can't even, I've never been able to pronounce it. A colacanth. <laughs> yep, isn't that what they call a living fossil? I can't believe it still exists in its ancient form like this. Udo will really like this. Yes, well, I mean, my dude, you fought a Chronosaurus, so like, come on. Why are you surprised by anything? Now you'll be able to go in. I feel hot air coming out from inside. Well, that's not a good sign. Be careful. 
Thanks. <laughs> Can I do anything with this? Okay, we're just chatting with peeps. Let's do it, let's go. I don't like the music. The roots have severely mutated. The door is blocked by Teresa. There should be a way to go inside. All right, I kind of assumed with the change in music that it would be some kind of boss battle sitch, but I guess not. Oh my goodness. Hello there. I know you, you're one of those um, snails that lives by uh, the hydrothermal vents or whatever, aren't you? Okay, so I'm seeing these. Dave can't headbutt it. I'm seeing this. That Dave can headbutt. I wonder if there's stuff that I need to put on it. Yeah, okay. Will you hurt me? No, I can pick you up. Have a great time in your new home, buddy. All right, I passed it. Yeah, I'm aware I passed it. Snail is like, how dare you? Yep, I'm aware the path is cut off. <laughs> a sea scorpion, a mutated divine tree fruit. This is terrible. I must somehow find a way. Alright game, I get it. Alright, so we've got some O2. I won't touch that just yet. This looks like we need a divine tree fruit. Nice. Whoa! Hey buddy! Oh, leave me alone. I'm trying to do stuff. Oh gosh, there's more than one. See, this is where my quadro rifle would come in handy. Yes, instant death. Take that. Ah, oh, they're everywhere. We can't even eat them? Oh, we can. Excellent. <laughs> That's the important thing. Okay, so the one I dropped died, I guess. Um, how do I fit this in here, though? That's my question. Eh! Eh! Nope. Ow! Oh, maybe I'm supposed to be dropping it on them? Oh, maybe I drop... Do they keep respawning? Nice, okay. Yes, I'm aware of what I've just done. Gosh. Apparently, am I supposed to be carrying one all the way back with me? <laughs> Hydrothermal vent. Is there any way to stop the water jet? Uh, well, I guess we're either using the snail or some more tree sap, you know? Uh, I'm aware. I'm so aware. Uh, 
Okay. So we need to get that up high enough. So we need all three on at once. It's just a matter of how do I do that. Uh, pick it up, please. No, but like, seriously, how am I supposed to do this? Oh my gosh. Oh, yep, thank you. Um, because that's totally how hydrothermal vents work. I don't know how close, too close is with all of this, but um, yeah, okay, cool. Oh, hello, that's on an angle, that's not fair. I could imagine that will all be on an angle. Go, 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 go. Oh, yep, hello. Okay, so there's snails, so I'm just wondering if they're supposed to make my job any easier. I think it's just a matter of just going. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, I'm on fire! Yikes, what are those gross looking eggs? Why are they attached to the divine tree roots? Oh, kill a squid! Oh no, it's Anomalocarus! Uh, okay. Oh yeah, okay, we have seen these guys, haven't we? Uh, yep, so they've survived for such a long period of time, still breeding. Uh, I don't know what's happening. My dude, what's happened is you found Anomalocarus. Oh nice, at least the harpoon will take them out so I don't have to waste bullets. I loved that one there that was just headbutting the ground. I am so offended by the ground. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, ooh. That was a bit awkward. <laughs> that one was headbutting this. I'm so offended by this platform. Well, that's a lot of eggs. Okay, they look like they're about ready to hatch, but I can't go back now. It's cool, you've got your harpoon. There's a door there. If I could melt the mucus covering the door. Hmm, I'm aware. There is an intact divine tree fruit. Should I put that in the divine tree fruit device? What device? Where? What are you talking about? Oh, like up the top there? No, that's the top of the door. What divine tree fruit device is he talking about? 
Like, I know the device he's talking about, but I don't know... I don't see it anywhere. Oh, right there. Okay, I see it. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. I just didn't know where the device was. Far out. Alright, good, it's working. Maybe I can melt the mucus by protecting the light from this divine... Oh, projecting the light from this divine fruit tree. I know the eggs are hatching, I need to get rid of them before... Well, why before you melt the mucus? Oh, yep. Yeah, I'm aware. Let's do it. Far out. More eggs hatching. I need to get... Oh, seriously? Why don't you just use the divine tree fruit light? Okay, good. Thanks, game. Yes, I'm aware. Just melt it. Far out. Yes, yes, yes. We know the drill. Oh gosh, these guys are fast. Hey, 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 hey! Last of them. Come on, let's go. You're almost out of O2, buddy. Stop talking, just get it done. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is like where the devs were like, how do we pad for runtime? How do we make this game longer than it actually needs to be? Is this actually going to be a big boss battle? Ugh, the offspring of the ancient creature is clinging to something. Is that the nucleus of the divine tree? Could that be why the divine tree is acting strange? I'll need to get rid of those creatures first. I'm assuming this is going to be easier said than done. So, if I'm following this correctly, little Anomalocaris here is acting as some kind of parasite? Okay, you're a bit hard to get at. Nope. A little bit higher. It's gonna be a giant one. That's the only... Okay, looks like the Divine Tree's nucleus has stabilized again. I guess this should do it, Dave. Come on, Dave. Phew, I hope the earth earthquakes will stop now. I should start heading back to land. I'm here for it, let's do this. Ah, oh, what on earth is that? Is that the mum of those creatures I saw earlier? No wonder there were eggs everywhere. I'm in no way prepared for this. Let's go. Oh, 
I tracked you down in case you needed help. What's going on here? The huge monster came out of the lava. Mmm, I know what that is. I've seen a lot of it in the text about the ancient civilization of the sea people. Looks like a creature known as a Yawi. An ancient beast from legend still alive, and it's massively bigger. The sea people elder told me about some old experiment. It must have absorbed the divine tree and the geothermal energy to get this big. We have to defeat it to stabilize the divine tree. Dave, I'm counting on you. What? How could I possibly defeat such a huge ancient creature? You took down a dinosaur just a moment ago. No, that was a different situation. I don't have... Wait, why don't we have any weapons or bullets now? Dave, isn't the weapon right here? Huh? Duck, what are you talking about? I told you, this drone has all kinds of hidden features. I knew this day would come, but it was a bit sooner than expected. I'll input the activation code for the drone's attack mode. Whoa, it can do that. The drone can maintain oxygen levels, fire unlimited bullets, and even manipulate time. Manipulate time? Yes, if you press that mouse button, you can temporarily manipulate time. It should give you some time to dodge attacks. Of course, you need to be quick. This is all the help I can give right now. I hope we won't be saying our final goodbyes. Goodbye t No. See you again, Eternity. Okay, well this might take many attempts. Alright, I can't just run away now, not after getting this far. Alright, let's deal with this. Okay. Um, I have no O2, what do I do about that? Me. Are you pooping at me? Phase two. The current attack level might not be enough. This enemy's tougher than we expected. I didn't want to go this far, but let's unlock the limiter. Why didn't you just do that from the start? Who brings out their trump card right at the beginning of a game? Just watch this. I call this Stella Laser. A super-powered laser combining all our tech. 
Never thought we'd use it underwater. Hmm. Pay attention. If you hold spacebar, you can gather stellar energy. Let go of the button to fire. Easy, right? But keep in mind that you'll move slower while charging, so be careful. Good luck, Dave. A charge and laser fire, huh? Great, let's finish this. I don't know, I think we were doing fine as is, you know? Oh gosh, alright, yep, my bad. Ah, far out. Okay, I just have to like focus on dodging this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Alright, I'm a bit stuck. Yeah, whoops. What the mess? How am I supposed to dodge that? Why is it with this game when like the bosses just need a superpower weapon? It's always some kind of laser fire situation. Do we have to start from the very beginning? Okay. So my best guess is when it fires off its laser thing, we need to just move as far away as possible. Yep, that was my bad. Oh gosh, I'm not doing very well again. Like, what am I supposed to do there? All right, I figured it out. All right, third phase. Oh, it's trying to run away. If we don't kill it now, it will continue to cause problems. Let's put an end to this once and for all.
full of things. Oh, it seems like it's finally tired. Now's our chance, Dave. We need to end. Uh, grab it. What are you doing? Whoa, that was close. Looks like it's using its last bit of strength. Dave, move to that open path for now. It won't be able to hold on much longer. Uh, well, it's telling me I need to chase the Yowie, but... Um, ooh. It's a dead end. What should I do? It's not ready for quick time events. Ah, phase five. Haha, <laughs> the creature's entangled in the divine tree. This is the lucky opportunity to finish it off. Mm, the drone seems to be malfunctioning. I can't pick the weapon signal. Well, what should I do? Is there anything useful around here? Yep, thanks game. There's a huge divine tree fruit device over there. The divine tree fruit seems to have returned to normal. What if I put it in there and operate it? No, it's too big. I can't possibly move and aim it all by myself. Oh, about time. Are you alright, human? Oh, the sea people. We came down here because you didn't come up even though the divine tree was stabilized. I is that Yawi? Has it grown that big over this long period of time? It seems like we need to defeat that creature to end this. This is our chance while it's tied up. Let's finish it off. That won't be enough unless we use the divine tree fruit device over there. Well, given my expertise in both physics and math, it seems like we might need to adjust the angle of the device upwards. Well, that might work, but it looks incredibly heavy. We'll help. If five of us combine our strength, we can do it somehow. You bring the divine tree fruit and put it in. There's no time. Oh, I've got friends. That's nice. Oh, I'm surprised the game didn't tell me what I needed to do again. Probably should have started with the ones that were further back. Alright, I'm ready. The 
device is responding. It's time to end our long history. You pesky nuisance, take this! Oh, hold on, this is not fair. Not fair to just villainize a poor animal. It's trying to survive. My aim was precise. It won't recover from that state. Phew, this has been an incredible journey. You did a great job, human. Let's go back to the Sea People village and talk. Can I at least take some of the Anomalakaras? I'm assuming that could be nice sushi. The water temperature has stabilized and the divine tree fruit is also in good condition. The villagers who are ill seem to be slowly improving. We've faced many challenges, but it's a relief that we've managed to overcome them. I think the earthquakes on the mainland will stop as well. How about going up and checking the status? Good job, human. Come and visit us often. Oh, we've got an epilogue. Oh, yes. Okay, yes, we've got the picture. <laughs> It's already night time. It's been a long day. I think I'll drop by Banko Sushi. But I mean, yeah, that was the absolute plan. <laughs> Hey there, Dave, you're finally back! Oh, everyone's gathered here. We heard from Dr. Bacon, you've accomplished a lot. You did a good job. How about we all relax today and enjoy some food together? Whoa, awesome. I was worried I might have to get right back to work. Great, we should all celebrate together. Can I feed the cats? I have plenty of cat food for you. Yeah. It's been a while, Bunko Sushi. How are you, Sammy? Are you enjoying your life here? Yeah. You know it. There are times when I get a bit bored, but it's also incredibly inspiring, yo. Yeah. The new song that I recently released, Farmer Daddy Online, has been getting great feedback, you know? Yeah. You're still making music, huh? Yeah. For sure. The sound of a hoe hitting the ground, the clucking of a hen, it's all just one big beat to me, yo. Yeah, I, I'm not a hip and cool sounding person. Why didn't you come in person? Because I am waiting for an important parcel today. I've been inspired from afar by your bravery, Dave. The way you fought tirelessly to save the Sea People village. If you were a beautiful girl, I might have joined your fandom. I'll pour my energy into weapon research to prepare for any upcoming crises. As your colleague, I'm counting on your continued efforts, Dave. Mm, all right. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> a true feast. You're always so busy, we've hardly had the time to chat. Hmm. Now that things are calmer, I'll have plenty of time to share with you some more of my stories. Uh, sir? Back in my diving days, I was mostly into free diving. 
and I wore the necklace my father gave me. But barracudas have a tendency to attack anything that shines. Uh. Out of nowhere, a school of barracudas come at me. Even worse, I didn't have a harpoon that day. I figured fleeing might be more dangerous, so I swam straight toward the barracudas. Whoa, I think the ground just shook. Huh? Eh? I didn't feel anything. Tay, you've worked really hard. It's gratifying to see your venture prospering. That's largely thanks to you for providing such reliable staff. You must have had your plate full with all kinds of things, but now I hope you can support Bunko in running the restaurant effectively. Bunko's a bit stubborn and might stir up some problems if he's left to his own devices. Hey Dave, your assistance has really helped elevate my status at the company. We have a new reporter now which lightens my load a bit. So I can even afford to join in these evening gatherings. Since I cannot drink beer, I stick to non-alcoholic drinks though. Haha. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that I was helpful. So do you need me to help with the reporting anymore, right? So you don't need me to help with the reporting anymore, right? Huh? What are you talking about? I still don't know how to dive. <laughs> <laughs> if there's anything I need your help with, I'll come looking for you. Good job, Dave. I only opened a shop here because this place has plenty of fish. Who knew it had such a secret? Well, you've solved the problem, and my business is booming now. <laughs> I guess my decision was right after all, ha ha ha. It was a fun experience. Coming here was a good idea. I'm thinking about seeking out another adventure. What do you think? <laughs> well, just rest for now, Cobra. <laughs> First time seeing you in the shop, huh? <laughs> well, I just finished submitting my paper, so I'm a bit free. <laughs> Good, I'm glad for you. Okay. Uh, the eco bag there, I haven't seen it before. Ha! Huh, you have sharp eyes. It's the reward for maxing out the eco watcher level. It's a service that prints the faces of users committed to environmental protection on a bag. You've really been putting a lot of work in since you got some free time. I can't fall behind. Ho ho ho! Ah, Sato, you made it too. Ha ha ha, I heard you've been venturing into glaciers to collect Marinka, and I thought I'd show some support. Well, that's not quite true, but... Ha ha, thanks to you, my world ranking keeps getting better and better. Now that the big event is behind us, let's see about gathering the remaining Marinka. Oh, don't count on it, buddy. I still can't believe what happened. Not just the sea people's civilization, but the village, too. You even solved their crisis. Great job. From now on, we should keep this civilization secret. Oh, how are you going to do that? They need to maintain the peace they've regained. Hmm. Although it was quite a roller coaster, I have learned so much from Bunko. Hmm. I wonder if I was too focused on fancy food and missed out on what true flavour is. But I still can't get myself to eat that grilled shark head over there. Anyhow, please keep running the branch smoothly and sharing more wonderful dishes with people, Dave. Oh, Vincent, are you here alone tonight? I didn't come here to rate your restaurant today, so don't stress. Take it easy. When I dine in peace, I can savour the intricate flavours more. It's delicious. I'm happy to hear that. Mm, I guess my prejudices have worn off, but there's no denying that there has been a slight change to the taste. Really? The taste has changed? It's a bit smoother. You could say it's softer. Before, the dishes were brimming with the chef's strong-willed style, but now it feels more accommodating to the customer. Interesting. So that translates into the taste as well. Well, that might just be my perception. I'm sorry I couldn't be of much help. I was too busy in the shop. What are you talking about, Banco? The sea people loved your cooking. 
Mm, if that's the case, I'm glad. Now there are no more earthquakes, let's get to work. Whew, it was a lot tougher than I thought, but... I met a lot of nice people in the end. Looking back, it was a fun adventure. I never would have visited a place like the Sea People Village in my life were I not given the opportunity. Okay, let's relax and... Go for another exciting dive! What the mess? Dave in space? I love this! What do I need to do? Am I just swimming around and looking at the... Ah. Can I attack the peeps? I can! Ha ha! Take this, sound designer! for all of you. It's actually kind of cute. I don't know if I'll do it all, but here's a little taste of what happens in the end credits, I guess. This was like a fun little game. I'm a bit devo that I got so hung up in chapter six, especially because that big boss battle at the end didn't even require the weapons that you uh, had. So I sort of spent all that time upgrading for uh, no real particular reason. Um, but it was still a fun game. I think uh, they added a lot. Um, I don't know, sometimes I feel like simple games can actually be amazing. Um, but like in this game they kind of seem to wanted to add like every single thing possible whoa 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 hey hey which just made it um 
a bit more stressful than what I was after, I guess. And maybe if I was in that kind of headspace, um, it wouldn't have been such an issue. But like all the reviews legitimately just talked about diving and owning a restaurant. So that's kind of going into it is exactly what I thought it would have been. Um, and then it ended up to be so much more than that. So yeah, it's a fun game. Um, I guess if you like restaurant simulators, farming simulators, fishing simulators, uh, running a business simulator, <laughs> uh, you know, diving, uh, this would be a fun game for you and I would recommend, I'd recommend checking it out anyway. I know I've probably really only just scratched the surface of it. There's a lot that I chose to just ignore. Oh yay, they gave me a shout out at the very end there. And you! Just while I'm going through and destroying all these people and their names. Oh, there's seven left. I'm not going to do it. No! I don't know what's happening right now. That's cute. Oh, but wait, there's more. <laughs> Sleep well, finally got some sound sleep, dreamed exploring space, things should calm down now a bit. Well then, check on the unfinished business. Let's have a blast running Bunko Sushi! Oh that's cute, so if you wanted to you could just come back and keep playing it. Well look, there you go, you've got options. You can just smash out the main story and then enjoy um, running a restaurant and diving. That's kind of cute. That's what I wanted the game to be, so maybe I'll enjoy it now. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you all for watching, whoever has been. As always, I greatly appreciate, appreciate it. I can never say it enough. I really appreciate your time, comments, likes, everything else in between. Um, I'm not 100% sure what game I'll be jumping into next, so stay tuned. And on that note, I'll see you on the flip side. Bye!